And we were studying the effects of androgens and estrogens on cardiometabolic risk factors in men. So what we know is that men develop cardiovascular disease earlier than women, but we don't know why. And so one of the theories is that testosterone is bad for heart health, but that estrogens are somehow cardioprotective. So we study this in our experimental model to try and determine whether androgens or estrogens were responsible for these various cardiovascular risk factors. So HDL, which is the good cholesterol, yeah. is regulated exclusively by testosterone and not by estrogens. Um, similarly, there are glycemic indices, so measures of insulin resistance and fasting glucose that are all markers for diabetes that are regulated solely by estrogens in men. And what this means is that men who have higher testosterone levels may therefore cause low HDL levels, and who have lower estrogen levels than women, which may cause worse glycemic indices and higher risk for diabetes, all of those things may be contributing to the increase in cardiovascular risk that we see in men as compared to women. Now, this was a 16-week study, and we allowed men to eat whatever foods they wanted. But we gave them medications to fix their testosterone and estradiol levels at different ranges. Uh, and that's how we regulated and tested this hypothesis. Um, men have estrogen as well. And in fact, estrogen and testosterone in men are intimately linked. 80% of estrogen in men is made from converting testosterone into estrogen. So essentially, men have both high testosterone levels and some estrogen levels. Now, these estrogen levels are nowhere near the levels you see in premenopausal women. However, they do appear to contribute to physiologic regulation of various factors such as, as we found, HDL and glycemic uh, indices. So I think this gives us information about the physiology of, um, of cardio, uh, physiology, about male physiology um, and about the impact of changes in androgens and estrogens on um, men's risks for cardiovascular disease. Um, now that we know this information, we know that if men have high testosterone but low estrogen for some reason, they may not be as high of a risk, and vice versa if they have low testosterone and low estrogen. Most of the increase in uh, cardiovascular risk you see with hypogonadism in men may be due to the low estradiol levels that hypogonadal men have, and not necessarily to the low testosterone levels that men have.